Hello everyone. In my previous video and video series, I have showed something about the Visual Basic Editor and the most important things or examples of Visual Basic in Microsoft Excel. If you go through my channel playlist, you will find two series there I have showed in one where I have explained what is Visual Basic and its components and most of the important things of Visual Basic Editor and one more series where I have showed some practical examples of Visual Basic and the example files also given into the video description box. So from today with this video I am going to show you some of the ultimate guide of Microsoft Excel VBA if statement we are going to work on the if statement and else statement and else if statement into this all video so if I going to cover everything into a single video the video will be so long so I have split them into several videos so that you can learn them easily without feeling so much boring so starting with this theoretical video I am going to show you the if statement and end if statement into this video and going to show you the example of it. So welcome back everyone on a new video of Microsoft Excel Visual Basic for application that means the video series on your favorite channel technical portal. This is your host Pritam and don't worry I'll give you the link of downloading the Excel workbook into my description box so please check it out. So please make sure to download that and practice yourself for better understanding. So without further ado let's begin. So at first to start writing any of VBA code we need to go to the Visual Basic Editor. The shortcut is Alt and F11 and the long cut is going to the developer tab click on Visual Basic and there it is the Visual Basic Editor. So insert a new module so we are going to start the if statement of Visual Basic Editor. The main Excel VBA conditional statements are the if else and else if. Then statement and the select case statement both of these evaluate one or more conditions and depending on the result execute the specific conditions or sections of code. The if then statement test a condition that if it evaluates to true executes a specific section of code if the condition evaluates to false a different section of code is executed. So let's go through the practical. So at first we need to start with the sub procedure that means we have to write we need to write the sub then following the procedure name and I am naming it as if then right so hit the enter button come to the next line and make some room for your code now here press the tab button indent your code or start with the next line of if so VBA's if statement allows you to test if expressions are true or false running different code based on the result right so here suppose I am writing like this the main syntax will be like this look at here if after typing if we need to write the test expression here then we need to use the then statement and the action will go through here right so let us go to the practical example so here we are going to write the if statement if we are going to search for a range and if the value will be true the action will be like whatever we want right so here in this case we are searching for the range and we need to give the range here opening the parenthesis opening the double inverted comma now we are going for the a1 cell right so if the a1 cell contains anything and what is the anything value we need to indicate that so dot type value here as we are searching for the value and what is the value for the value must be greater than 0 right so after that type then so what it will do if it find anything any value in the cell that is a1 greater than 0 
So insert an underscore and hit the enter button that means we are going to continue our line here so the line looks smaller and easier to understand for anyone who is reading the code. So here again type range that means where we want the result when it finds any value of greater than zero right. Open the parentheses, open the double inverted comma here we need to indicate that cell reference where the result should be shown. I am indicating the cell value as B1 that means whenever it finds a value greater than zero into A1 cell it will show a value into the B1 cell right. So close inverted comma close parenthesis dot now what we are searching for we are searching for the value so type value here and what will be the value value will be equals to open inverted comma and write anything you want. I am typing as positive that means whenever the value is greater than zero that means the value must be positive right. So hit the enter button come to the next line now close the visual basic editor let's write a thing we have included cell number a1 so I have typed number 2 here so let's check our visual basic code if it actually works fine right. So go to the developer tab click on macros here you will find the recently created macro here then click on run. Look at here it actually shows you the result accurately. So if I delete this and type anything like minus 1 and run the code again by going to the developer tab macros and click on the recently created macro and then hit the run button it will show you nothing that means we didn't indicate anything if the value finds else than a greater value from zero right. So let's get back to the visual basic editor. Note that carefully when testing condition we are going to use these comparison operators like greater than lesser than equals to equals to or greater than or equals to or less than right. To make it easier to read we have inserted the underscore here as the line continuation character. This will expand the if statement into two lines. So let's move on to our next topic of today's video that is the end if statement. So here in this example of code I am going to go through with this example for your better understanding. This single line if statement works well when you are testing only one condition that means you only have one condition that is greater than zero. That means when I have showed you that here is minus one it will show you nothing because we didn't include the extra code here. But as your if statement become more complicated with multiple conditions you will need to add an end if to it to the end of the statement and in the next videos I'll show you how it can be so much complicated when you forgot about write the end if. So you need to must include the end if statement whenever your if statement has been over or your conditions are already given into the upper side of end if function. The end if signifies the end of the end statement that's all. So that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video I'll come back soon with the next part of this video that is else if with the multiple conditions right. So stay tuned with this channel. Share this video with your friends who wants to learn Microsoft Excel Visual Basic for applications in more details and from the beginning level. Hit the like button if you like this video. I'll come back soon. Till then keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.